Now a lot of you guys are probably thinking with all the latency and everything there might not be a point to use the monitoring facilities through VST but imagine you you get inspired by using a certain sound which which you can which you could just hear yourself with while you're playing and um and you can't recreate this sound with um external equipment so you could then for example um set up a nice effect on the guitar or on the on the microphone for the vocal track and record yourself while hearing this effect and um and it might just make you play better or, or sing better or so so i'll set up an effect now right i've set up my recording channel as you can see i've created a new track on channels 15 and 16 and um i can't hear anything at the moment so i'll click on monitoring enable the little m comes up here which stands for monitoring and now you can hear the guitar and you can also hear the effects on the guitar which are generated by the vst um, side of things so this is my channel this is the um, vst things this is the level that comes out of the VST mixer going into the master mixer, which I can actually change. But the record input level is this level here, which I can't change. So if I take the volume down, the record in level, the guitar that I'm going to record, is still going to be um, around this level here, around minus 40B, minus 60B, minus 40B. And, um, and if I take the faders down, nothing goes into the master output and you can't hear any effects either but you can still check the input level. This is the guitar. I've got some effects on here. I've got the metalizer as an insert effect, and I use the collette as my send effect here. So the collette's on here. The, this metalizer doesn't work. I've only messed around with that one. You can see it here. I've used it as a send effect down there as well, which I'm not using right now since it's only switched off. Okay, so I'll close this one now. You can hear the different sounds. And it sounds a bit Hendrixy. No comparison, of course. And I'll just do the recording. Yeah, I'm going to turn around now to reduce the noise. Now in order to hear myself, to hear the recorded guitar, I need to switch off this one here. I'll solo the guitar for now and play it. And uh, I have to change the channels. To so this is what the guitar sounds like on the hard drive. Absolutely clean, no effect on the guitar. Perfectly clean channel here. So this is what I've actually recorded. When you witnessed yourself that um, when I did record the guitar, I had all these effects on there, which I've still got available. All I need to do now is choose channels 15 and 16, and send the guitar through the channel that I've set up before. And 
with the music. So the monitoring route is with record enable and tape type is the light blue um, route through the VST inputs into the channel mixer. Then within the channel mixer you can choose whether you want to apply effects or use EQ for the monitoring section and go through the master mixer, go through the sound card again and then into your speakers or into your headphones. And this is the VST side of things. This is the side where you have a little bit of latency if you've got a modern sound card or quite a lot of latency if you're using an old-fashioned sound card up to maybe 750 milliseconds or maybe even more than that. As, you can, as you've seen that my sound card uses latencies um, in the region of let's say 8 milliseconds, 10 milliseconds or a little bit more, let's say 50 milliseconds, but 50 milliseconds are already too long to to play along to through this route and the um the blue route here the dark blue route is the is the setting for global disable which means that um the signal is routed directly through to the sound through the sound card if you can switch this via the sound card and if you can switch this via the sound card you've got the other chance of um switching it inside cubase using the ASIO direct monitoring setting here. I personally never use that one since I can do all the routing on my sound card and um, and I personally also prefer to use global disable when I record into the sound card. It's only now and again that I try to use an, um, an effect let's say use a reverb for when I'm when I'm singing into the machine or when I get somebody in to sing then I use um, either one of these two for the VST monitoring with the applied effects, but usually I stick with Global Disable, even though my sound card is quite capable of of monitoring the recorded signal um, f very, very quickly. As you can see here, I've got an 8 millisecond latency. <laughs> 